Hey guys, hey, welcome to another puppy vlog, yeah! These are my two foster puppies, and in today's video, I am going to do their name reveal, and I'm going to show you the perfect, in my opinion, puppy setup for your new puppy or your new foster puppy. Oh, whoa, guys, 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 woo! And if you are new here, um, welcome. We're so glad to have you, and we would love if you would join our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs by clicking that subscribe button down below. If you if you don't know the backstory of these two boys, um, these are my foster rescue puppies. I'll have a more in-depth, detailed video series linked here and down below that you can go watch after this video. But these guys were born into the rescue that I volunteer with and they've recently been weaned from their mother. So I'm fostering them until they find their forever homes. Let me show you first their names and then I'll show you the perfect puppy setup. What do you think? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. Yeah. Just went over here sleeping. is my foster puppy number one. His name is Brenham. And next up is Brenham's super sleepy brother. Mm, I just woke him up from a nap. Hi. His name is Biggs. Aren't their names the cutest? Now, I didn't personally name them um, because the puppies were born into the rescue I volunteer with, Heart of Texas Lab Rescue, when their mom was surrendered. Um, they named the puppies all with the letter B. So they just picked these names for them. Yeah. And actually Biggs, this is Biggs, his name within the rescue is um, Biggio or something like that. but. I couldn't remember, I kept saying it wrong, so we just call him Biggs. So technically your name is Biggio, huh? I know, you're so sleepy. So with this um, setup you see behind me, I have this playpen. This is by far, in my opinion, the best playpen you can get for your puppy or foster puppy ever. I've tried so many different ones, and oh, I'm out of breath because you're getting heavy. But what I love is that this playpen is pretty, in my opinion, for a playpen. It's like a nice gray, but it comes in multiple colors. You can get it on Amazon or you can get similar playpens at your local pet store. But what I like about it is it's tall enough to where the puppies can't jump out of it. Um, and what makes it so nice is I can keep the puppies confined. And that is so important because when you're not able to keep your eyes 100% on your puppy, they need to be in a safe zone, I call it, or safe space. And a safe space means a place where they cannot get into trouble. And a crate is a good example of that, um, but a playpen is another good example. Now, I do not recommend playpens when you're gonna be away from the home, but if you're gonna be in the kitchen, like I have this in the living room, and you're gonna, if you're gonna be in the kitchen or run to the bathroom real quick or in the dining room and you can kind of check on them every couple of minutes, that's when I like to use a playpen. And I know a lot of people do not like puppy pads, but for me and my experience, because I have fostered a lot, a lot of puppies, and I also work full time. I have two dogs of my own. I have a lot of hobbies. I have YouTube. I have a lot of things going on. I needed a way to protect my floors because getting, um, you know, puppy potty uh, on the floor is just not a good thing. And so in my experience, I've raised I don't know, countless number of rescue puppies at this point, I have not had an issue with having a puppy pad as a just in case, but still continuing to focus on potty training outdoors. And you'd be surprised. I don't know if it's instinct, quite honestly, I don't know why, but most puppies I've fostered, they kind of get it. They get that, okay, this is where I go potty because they don't want to potty inside. Instinctually, they don't want to potty inside and they don't want to potty on their bed. But I'm human and sometimes I'm working on my laptop and I may let time get ahead of me and if they are still learning on how to alert, alert me when to take them out or I forget because I'm human. It's nice to have the backup of a puppy pad. But all that to say, I know a lot of you on previous puppy videos I've done are like, I hate puppy pads. It's gonna make them pee in the house. I don't find that to be the case as long as 
along with the puppy pad as like a backup, you're still working on potty training, which I have a really good video on potty training linked up here. I just love this playpen. It keeps them, you know, secure. It's like a nice soft plastic, so it's easy to move around if I need to. Uh, Finn, he likes to lay here and watch them and, and kind of stay with them. But if I'm trying to get some work done or I'm on a call because I work from home, I can keep them in here and sit on the couch and I don't have to worry about them crying or making noise because they're just right here. They're still kind of together and you want the ball and they're, they're safe and I don't have to worry about them getting into anything or, or eating something that they shouldn't. Oh, and it's time for Bark Remark of the Day, AKA Comment of the Day, and that goes out to Jenny Serrato. She commented on my recent top puppy tip video, which I'll link up here. And she says, I'm part of the notification squad. Woo! Jenny, thank you so much. And the reason it's so important that when you click sub subscribe that you also click the notification bell is that way you won't miss a video that we do and it helps, I've got a hair in my mouth, it helps bring awareness to our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. Uh, but thank you guys so damn much for your endless support. Uh, I said this earlier in the video, but I do have a PO box so you guys can send the dogs a letter or a card. How fun is that? And then I can share them on the vlog if you want me to. The address to our PO box for the pups is linked down below. And guys, um, if you have any other video requests that you want from me, just let me know. Comment below and I hope that you have a beautiful